Hey, how's it going? <laughs> good. How are you? <laughs> so good. Thank you so much for having me on. It's been a while. Yeah, it has. And I'm really stoked to see. Um, I know you've been telling me a little bit about it. So I'm really excited to finally see it today. Yeah, uh, we've. it's been crazy. Like, I. So we went back. Sticky Albums has been kicking ass for five years now. I just like celebrated my fifth year. We have over 17 million views across all of our Sticky Albums, which just, that's pretty fun. Yeah, uh, that's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so last year, um, like we kept running into, I, I talked to hundreds of photographers every year and I keep hearing like these same recurring things. Like there's some photographers that are kicking ass and some that are really struggling still. And what I kept, it took me a while to realize our tagline was book more clients. And I realized that we, we weren't actually helping like close the deal. Like we were helping photographers get more emails, get more inquiries, get more traffic to their site, get more phone calls. But that didn't necessarily mean they were closing the deal. Because then they'd have to be responsible for that last. And, and, it, it's, and as your business gets bigger, we can, I, first thing I want to talk about with you is I saw you were automating some of your booking process mm -hmm. with your customers. And I, I see, uh, I relate so much to photographers because we're all like running a startup, right? I was, a, I was running my own photography business before I started this. And then I, I love the entrepreneur spirit that is so alive and well in our industry. And there's all of these things that you do to start your business that, mm -hmm. that help you start, but they don't scale, right? Mm -hmm. They help you stand out. You like hustle and call your, you call back your clients like right away. You'll answer a phone call or during dinner or at middle, like late at night. Uh, you, you'll spend hours and hours on your edits and go all of this extra mile, right? You really wow your clients. That helps you start. But then whether it's six months, a year, five years later, you realize that you can't keep, you can't do all of that yourself, right? You've got to start automating. Yeah. And the thing that um, I have found is, you know, <laughs> being a photographer, I remember, like you said, when I first started out, it's like, there's all this information online for when you're just starting out. And if you think about it, it's because, you know, the majority probably are right. Mm -hmm. But then it was annoying because when I wanted to scale and like actually start to, you know, bring in some real money, there was nothing out there. And like, that's BS. So I love that you and I, you know, we're not just going at, you know, trying to teach to the biggest pool. It's like, we're just sharing what is actually really helpful. So yeah, yeah. you're right. I started doing auto emails and auto um, bookings because I wanted to, you know, like have a life mm -hmm. and like go on vacation and be able to still book clients and do what I love. So. So oh. I want to, I'm curious, I saw a little bit about what you were doing. Uh, you use, you, because of all of the businesses you run, you wear a ton of hats, you've got some pretty awesome automation tools that don't make sense for a lot of photographers to purchase because mm -hmm. they're pretty expensive. Uh, what, let's back up a second. So when you decided you had to start automating, what, like, what made you decide like, oh, this is getting out of hand? That's a really good question. So, um, yeah, I don't think I've ever shared this before, actually. Um, so I, you know, it was just me for the longest time. And then I was like, okay, I maxed out on my time. Um, so I thought that my next move, according to like everything I was reading online should be a commercial studio with more employees. So like a studio manager and another shooter and like all this stuff. So I did that and yeah, we did bring in, you know, we booked more clients, we brought in more money, but the profit was actually about the same because of the expenses of um, having this whole team. Like when you have an employee, it's not just their salary. You know, you have to pay the insurance and the workers comp, like there's so much that goes into it. Mm -hmm. um, and then the big thing I was, you know, coming to also is that the person that I had hired to do shooting um, alongside of me, she did great and everything, but everyone still wanted me because that was the name of my studio. And so I knew that although this direction can work for some people, it just wasn't going to work for me. So instead of, um, you know, continuing down that road, I thought, okay, well, I just need to figure out how I'm going to save myself more time. I can't duplicate myself. I've tried that. So um, automation was the route that I went and it has allowed me to, you know, not only do more of what I love and bring in more profits and have more time to shoot, but then I also have started two other businesses since then. So it's like, 
I mean, to free up, to free up more time to shoot, make more money and have two other businesses like that's crazy. So I'm that's sold on so that. Awesome. What a great story. Yeah. That is, so, there's so many good nuggets in there. Like, and what I, what I teach people, I think it's great if you eventually, so you, you reach that point of like, okay, I've hit my max, right? Mm -hmm. I can't grow any bigger. I want to grow, but like, I'm too busy. There's a, I can't clone myself. What do I do? So people go to hire, right? Mm -hmm. Well, hiring can be at the wrong time or too soon. Mm -hmm. It's really, it, 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 it's it like, can definitely take your business to the next level or literally make you bankrupt. Like, well, and <laughs> like, you're too busy. Like yeah. you're, that's why you're hiring somebody. How do you take the time to teach mm -hmm. them anything you need them to do? Right. Uh, so what, what I always coach people on is you want to outsource as much as you can first. Mm -hmm. And then like all of your, anything that can be outsourced, you outsource that. And then you automate things because it's so much easier to teach a new hire how to do the thing that's automated, right? Versus having them learn from scratch the hard way or whatever. So you, you start with automation. Mm -hmm. and once you get in systems in your business, then when, when you do decide to bring in an employee to help, they're that much more effective and they can hit mm -hmm. the ground faster. So that's automation is definitely number yeah. one. You hit the so. nail on the head there because that's literally what happened. Like, I think the word system sounds so incredibly boring. And like, obviously we would rather be, you know, in hair and makeup with our clients and like chatting with them and making them feel beautiful. And, um, but the, but the reality is that if you do take the time to work on those systems, you'll, you'll get more of that fun stuff in the end. So totally. Yeah. yeah it just frees everything up. I hated systems. Like I, I so weird how quickly I say that word, but like, yeah, I hate, I hate <laughs> process. That word is like, ugh. <laughs> but like it gives, it gives me my life back. Like I, I was say to, once you do it though, then you're probably like, this is the best word ever. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> We're such nerds. I love it. Okay. Uh, all right. So what next? Um, so I want to ask one more question for you. Okay. So booking, that's a tricky thing to automate because you don't, when somebody goes to your website or they find out about you, they can't just, a stranger can't just book a session on your calendar. Can they? Um, no, uh, I can tell you kind of how the process works. <laughs> okay. Oh, so please tell me. <laughs> okay, I know you're dying to know. No, uh, okay, so basically, you know, people, how I funnel it is I have, you know, kind of this flow, if you will. So my whole goal is just to get more traffic to my website. Okay, so like from my time perspective, that's my only goal. I know that if I can get people to my website, the rest is automated. So how it works is um, you can check out my website. It's mollymariephoto.com and you can see everything I'm talking about. So basically, um, every single page, so like the about page, portfolio page, home page, every single page, every once in a while, there's a button that asks them to download my freebie, which is my dream shoot planner. And, you know, people down, I get, I don't know, probably at least probably like a thousand a month. I mean, we get actually a ton of traffic to my website. Nice. Um, and the dream shoot planner is something I created. It's just a 30 page magazine. Um, that tells them all the information about the shoot. It lets them plan out their shoot, you know, whether they book with me or not, they're going to get this either way. So it's like a fun freebie for them. Um, it tells them where to shop at. Pretty much every question I've ever got is in here. So yeah. once they go to download that, they get on my email list, right? So I think the greatest thing so far about this is that they're not having to commit to filling out my contact form. Like I was finding that people are like allergic to filling out your contact form, they feel like so committed. And then if they decide not to book, they're like, you know how it feels awkward if you ask someone information and then you're like, oh, it's just not a good fit. Like you feel like you wasted their time, right? Okay, so, yeah. So once they're on the email list, um, the first email they get from me gives them the Dream Shoot Planner and some information. There is a link to book, but it's not super pushy. And yep. then there's like five to seven more emails, you know, maybe with an FAQ or a behind the scenes video. And then it just invites them to book. And the last email um, is the one that asks them why they haven't booked, which is super helpful. But to answer your question, if they do click that link to book, it takes them to an order form okay. um, that they can fill out to um, book. But the biggest problem I've been running into is photographers want to know how I'm doing this, but I'm using a really expensive software called Entreport. Mm -hmm. um, and I mean, it's like 300 bucks a month. So I totally get that it's not doable for everyone. So I'm trying to find a solution um, for everyone else. I, I think that's where you come in. <laughs> <laughs> I think I might have something for I think you might. 
uh, that's so, so then it's linking directly to your Google calendar and like, so, yeah, my booking page, it's like a page that I made, like you can use WordPress or whatever. Yep. And then I just took the code from my Google calendar, put that in there. Um, and then I have like a form that they can fill out to submit their payment. Got it. Cool. I think you, even though that's so expensive, I think you might, mine sounds. I was going to say, mine's not that pretty. So like, I feel like I might be sold on yours. <laughs> <laughs> mine's uh, just kind of like, you know. So let's, let's not bury the headline. Let me just show what, what we've launched. So in back to like what get, was behind it, uh, I wanted to take so we've, we've focused so much of my business on helping photographers boost referrals, get, get people sharing, promoting, uh, talking about you, and then driving traffic to your site. Uh, what I love that you've done is like, like, like the contact form allergy you talked about. People hate contact form. I really do think they do, for real. Uh, and, and instead of driving people to a contact form, you're, con you're driving traffic to a gift. Mm -hmm. Like here's a free book, right? That mm -hmm. is the, your website's main job is like introducing traffic to you and your brand, mm -hmm. some of your work. Oh, and while you're here, have this free gift. Mm -hmm. Like so many people's websites are like, ah, oh, I do weddings, families. It's just babies. about book me now. And it's like, yeah. they're not, they don't know you yet. <laughs> they don't know yeah. anything about you yet. Yep. <laughs> Just People like, don't just book you based on your work. I hate to tell you, but that's just not true. <laughs> they want to get to know you totally. Okay. So that's another topic we're, we're I love talking about email marketing too, but that, that one step is so perfect. Um, one of the things I'm recommending to photographers who don't have that whole, uh, um, email marketing thing worked out yet. Uh, instead of having them like fill out a contact form or just to, for you to like follow up, you can create a booking page that's just a, a 15 minute phone call. Mm. So instead of them having to book a whole session and commit all the way, what they're doing is they're just committing to talking to you tomorrow at 9.30. So like a consult. Exactly. Like, okay, so cool. Like, here's a free consult. And for some, I would still write, I think what you're doing is best, right? But it's a good middle ground. So I think though, if, you're, if you have the time the to do a consult, you should do one, yeah. Yeah. But, but I think it's not, you have the time to do it. Yeah, I mean, if you're not having enough bookings where you have time to do it, then yeah, you should do it. <laughs> exactly, that's so well said. So that's, that's like the, the baby step, right? Mm -hmm. So if, you have, if you're looking to book more, mm -hmm. you can do these things that don't totally scale, right? Mm -hmm. As you're getting your feet wet, you, don't, you haven't built an e, a seven email automation sequence yet. <laughs> this week, you could put a free phone consult session right on your website and make it live. I think this is really important too for boudoir because it's so intimate. Like people are not just gonna come to your website and be like, I'm gonna get naked in front of a stranger. Like it just doesn't work that way. So I think this is really, really good. Oh, that's perfect. Okay, so I don't have a, a boudoir session example yet. I might show one in a minute, but uh, this is what you, a page example you can create with our new booking and scheduling tool. So included, this with the new Steven Folios platform or suite marketing suite, you can create these booking pages. You get unlimited bookings. You can make as many different pages as you want. And so it's automatically connected to your Google Calendar. Oh, wait, this is included if you're already a Sticky Albums member? That too, yep, yep. Holy cow. It's included. So if you're a, a current Sticky Albums customer, you're, you should be already have gotten a link to mm. upgrade or to um, get access to this new system. It's included for free with your Sticky Albums membership. Um, if you're brand new to Sticky stuff, <laughs> Sticky Folios, I'll give, uh, we've got a cool place for you to check it out for like a dollar for your first month. So mm. all of this is included. That's the, that's the big news. Um, but let, let me show you what it, how it works. So you can put your branding, any information, uh, the big thing to think about is you can, it's just a page, right? It's a URL. So you can put this link anywhere you want. It can be on your homepage. It can be across all of the sticky albums or sticky folios you're making, any marketing pages you're making, uh, or it can be in your email signature. It's just a link, right? Email signature, smart. Uh, and this one lets people book a, a session where you can put your portrait agreement, your retainer fee, and a down payment. So this is what you're getting up to. So they can oh. sign the contract right there too. Exactly. That's awesome. 
Yes. Uh, so let's back up to our first example. Cause I think this part scares people. Like you don't, I love this. You, <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> unless, unless, uh, you're like doing a, a, a mini session day where you're like, boom, boom, boom. You need volume and people understand what they're buying. And it's like our marathon. Yeah. Filling it up. Right. For filling up 10 sessions in a day, mm -hmm. then you could just promote that to strangers. But for the most part, you're going to, create one of these pages that's just a 15 minute phone consult and what i i use a fishing analogy because we're from the midwest even though i don't fish i'm just some, i just like how it, it's analogous to to marketing when somebody's look, looking for a photographer and they've decided that they want to learn more <clears throat> they see your contact form and they're just like like so many of us are like Ugh, i hate like no like Contact forms, so many of them never work mm -hmm. that people hate putting their information in. They're just, they just work so poorly, right? But now you give them more control. They can click this book, book a phone consult right on your website. Like, okay, cool. Oh, I can chat with them tomorrow at 11 a.m. Sweet. I'm going to choose this time. I'm in control. And big, the bigger thing is I'm not now going to go Google another photographer because I don't know when I'm going to hear back from this one. That's a good point. It's so it, they, it sets the hook. Sorry, that's the fishing analogy. No, that's true. And the other thing is a lot of times people will, so I have my phone routed through Google. Yeah. And so when someone sends me a voicemail, it's like a text, you know, because yep. I'm like allergic yep. to voicemail, by the way. Yeah, me too. And <laughs> this is great because people will literally leave me voicemails being like, I want to talk. And I'm like, when <laughs> you know yeah. so then it's oh like my god seven messages well, back and forth yeah that's the other big time savers now we're getting back to let alone the like how you streamline getting people into a session um this works for any meeting mm -hmm. like I've been using online booking and scheduling for every type of meeting when you and I schedule today's call mm -hmm. I, I just sent you a link hey here's my calendar pick a time that works for you and for the last two years when I first got started, I was like, oh my, I'm being such a jerk. Like I'm, I'm being so inconsiderate to like delegate you to find time on my calendar. Who do I think I am? Right. <laughs> time and time again, people would do it right away. So it would oh, I love like, it. Yeah. Done. one email instead of like 10, mm -hmm. um, people would thank me. They'd be like, oh my gosh, Nate, that was so simple. Like, how did you do that? Can I get something like that? So not only will you save yourself a ton of back and forth and phone tag, email tag, your clients will appreciate the convenience of using an online tool to book time on your schedule. And remember Do you think that this would work for right. partnering with other businesses. Like if you oh, want oh, 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 totally, because that would be, better. and that's like a huge marketing thing that I do. So that'd be awesome. Yeah. You and I think that's, um, for, for the photographers that are past the, like the starting stage mm -hmm. and want to be around for more than a year or two. <laughs> yeah. uh, that's the big, I, I could talk for another 20 hours about partnering with small businesses. Like, Let's do it. 20 hours. Just kidding. <laughs> Let's go. Um, I, th I love how oh, it's a slippery slope. Like I noticed how you've got like these branding, like that's a, uh, what do you call this? I'm right on your homepage. What a smart way to like have another, another f service that you can do as a boudoir photographer. Oh yeah, I actually, I, so I've just, you know, everyone knows I've been doing just boudoir, but um, now that I've been getting more into education as well, people have been like literally requesting. So I just added it cause you know, something else I enjoy to do. That's you know, so my 5 million other things that I do. Yeah, but it, it, it aligns really well. Like have, showing yes. women professionals in their, in their best light and uh, it's so smart. I actually so, do yeah. think if you can do some kind of headshots, it actually helps you book more boudoir because then it gives you something that you can like trade, if that makes sense. Like, mm -hmm. oh, I'll give you headshots if you'll let me put up a flyer at your business or whatever it is. So. Gosh, you are always thinking of something. Okay. So, I, yeah, I love the scheduling small. though because now I can just be like, hey, pick a time that works for you. And so you're actually giving them value, you know? Mm -hmm. Totally. Okay. So this is the booking pages. Um, to review, you can create a page for each one of these different types of meetings. Okay. So it's a, a, a 15 minute phone consult. Uh, it could be the actual session. Once you've vetted the client and you know, okay, this is person's legit. I want them to book. Mm -hmm. You can limit right here. This is way too many options. You can turn a bunch of these options off. So there's like three choices. 
it creates like this awesome scarcity, like, hey, hurry up, I've got a couple openings next week, but they're going fast. Make sure you um, complete the form and put on your down payment. I would recommend something like 100 bucks. So really quickly, you guys, I just want to highlight what Nate is saying here is scarcity and urgency, which is so important for booking. So I just wanted to like pinpoint that so you guys can remember that. Totally. <laughs> scarcity, urgency, and you, you, you make people pay a fee, right? In order to oh, yeah. book time on your schedule. Mm -hmm. Have you always done that? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. You just, you just knew I right mean, away. let's say I have a slow month. I might do like a comp session where I'll sell them a package, but I haven't done that in a really long time. Yeah. But it just, it reduces like cancellations, no shows. I think it just raises your game, right? People are used to paying a down payment. Mm -hmm. You deserve it. I think it makes them feel good. Like I've definitely booked with people before where they don't make me pay and it makes me feel uneasy because I'm like, okay, we don't have like a connection. Like what if you don't show up? You know what I mean? So like, I want to give them money. <laughs> I'm always like, can I just pay you something? <laughs> yeah. Like, let me give you some money. So I know this is like, so, yeah, so it's like a contract. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, that's a really good point. Okay. Um, so now let me, Ooh, that looked pretty. Uh, uh, <laughs> okay. So let me finish the story. So that um, was a big thing I wanted to launch. And I also wanted to make, um, sticky albums better. This is the, the current sticky album, what it looks like. Um, it, it's just, like I said, 17 million views around the world. This one marketing strategy has has done wonders for a lot of businesses, mm -hmm. um, but I wanted to make it better. And so last year, we're like, let's just start from zero. <laughs> let's just take it all down. Why we'll not? Build, <laughs> build everything. Uh, so let me look at. I don't. What have, did her? I'm sorry, but what did her little marketing piece down there say? Oh, right here. Yeah, that's a good one. Seventy five dollars off final print order. Final send print us, order. Send us blah blah. Send us or show us this picture. Okay, cool. Yep. So you've got one too I was gonna show. So you currently put this image in yours. Mm -hmm. you want more awesome clients like you, refer a friend to book a shoot with us and you'll both get gifts. I love that idea. She'll get $100 credit for a shoot and you'll get your choice of one of the following. Yeah, so. I've seen a lot of photographers do where only the person who books gets something and like that's not good because you know you have to both get something. <laughs> It's such a it's such a great win win, and people are already excited to share. This gives them that like just extra little nudge to go show it and share it with their friends. Yeah. Um, okay, so I wanted to make this better, and I wanted before I show you the new one, I took this screenshot of Molly of your account. Oh, cool. Uh, these are the views you are getting on your three ninety three. Holy cow! Uh, and. Well, I never thought that boudoir would work. I was a high school senior photographer. I was like, ah, that people are like private. They don't want to share their boudoir images. It's for them and for their spouse, right? That's it. Uh, no. <laughs> um, so we track unique views and total views. Oh, nice. And what I think is really cool to note, I've always argued that while social media and online marketing is powerful and you want to leverage it, all of that stuff, What's so unique about mobile is it lets us um, make, take the internet, like make it more personal. And so what's happening here is these, these ones of your clients are only putting it on a couple of their friends' phones, mm -hmm. but then they're doing what I call the shoulder to shoulder share. They're going out for coffee and you're saying, hey girl, look what I did. Oh, they're, for sure. <laughs> they're giving their phone over and that, and what, what, do you, what are they talking about, right? They're talking about the experience. Like I was so nervous, I was so embarrassed, but I got my hair done. I, I she helped me choose what I was gonna wear. Uh, we like drank some champagne. It was hilarious. Before I knew it, I didn't feel awkward anymore. Like that is that's a commercial for your business that is in freaking valuable, right? That's really smart too. I think the fact that boudoir is a little bit taboo it makes people talk about it even more. <laughs> like you know, but only amongst like. The friends that they can share you, right? with. It's really can, when I was like, people kept asking, oh, we need a password feature. I was like, password, this is marketing. Like you want everybody to see it. And they're like, no, 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 this is boudoir. And mostly the password feature is so that, now that I have kids, uh, so that when <laughs> mom gives her phone to her children, they don't accidentally open that app. That's funny. Password lock the I app. never, well, I don't have kids. I would have never thought about that. <laughs> It's not, it's like, and, and the people they're sharing are, it might not be to thousands of different people, mm -hmm. but it's 
to all of these people with their own device. I love, I love that one is 114 unique and 117 views, and then one is 11 unique and like 400. Like, who is this? like, wow, her yes. husband must have really liked those pictures. <laughs> <laughs> Holy cow. <laughs> you crack me up. Oh, that's so funny. Okay, so this is just to show this, this strategy. We knew it worked. We wanted to make it better. Um, so let me show you the new that's version. Awesome, I, I don't think I've looked at my stats, so that's really cool that you shared them. <laughs> and it's fun to explain the story behind them. Um, okay, so I don't have a, 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 a Boudoir demo. We're going to build one together in a second. So we rebuilt the Sticky Album, the custom mobile app strategy. So it's, a tact it's like a marketing tactic that we let you build, right? Mm -hmm. Instead of it being a one-time logo up here and these old school buttons, this is what it looks like. So it looks killer on a big monitor now. That was one oh, of the big limitations. Cool. I didn't, I built just for mobile. Now I've got a, a amazing new designer on our team that makes things look just beautiful no matter what device you're on. So you got this big full screen, your logo still here in the corner that links out to your site, but it's downplayed. What I wanted to do is help you celebrate your customers more like you want to make this about them first and you second so instead of having your logo front and center it downplays it a little bit mm. um, we've got still have the same share button share features there but now there's a place to even edit some copy mm, if you I like want. that you can tell a little story about the, your client Yeah, for boudoir you could say like why they booked and how they felt before and after that's really smart cool uh, so then the gallery pretty cool um, it looks awesome the same oh, way you're wow. used to, but it looks killer on with even, without even going into the gallery. This already looks awesome. Are these her senior pictures? I'm sorry. I'm like jealous. These are awesome. <laughs> Dude, Josh Fisher is so cool. He, he's the bomb. He's like, what? Bomb. She has like her own private plane. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, don't, I don't think it's hers. I'll be dad's, but whatever. <laughs> we digress as always. Um, so you and I both know that, uh, I don't know if, even if you give any digitals, but I'll, what I'm, I do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, okay, cool. So I tell people that I'm always going to help you book more clients. I am a marketing like service. We want to help you with your marketing first. I don't care if you're trying to sell prints or, or, uh, images or sell stuff online. I don't care about any of that. We are not proofing. Proofing does not help you with your marketing. Your proofing, proofing gallery doesn't of, help you at all. You should do in-person sales, dude. <laughs> that too. <laughs> I'm sorry, but <laughs> <laughs> we know that. So, to anybody else who still does proof, like, fine if you do online proofing, whatever, all that stuff. But know that that's not going to go viral. Mm -hmm. it's people, it's not going to save offline to an icon on their phone. Mm -hmm. They're going to lose the link when they're hit, having coffee with their girlfriend. They're like, "Oh wait, I want to show you my pictures. Where's the link? Shoot." Um, oh wait, here they got a download. Oh, it's like, I, what's the Wi-Fi password? Like, no, done. They're not going to do it. But when it's like ten of their best pictures mm -hmm. and it caches offline to their phone, that's when people share like crazy. And by the way, for those of you that are watching this that maybe haven't heard of Sticky Albums, like it's literally when he says it's an app, it literally is like an app on the desktop of your phone. So like your iPhone or you guys, it works for like any phone though, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and um, yeah, you just click it and it opens up all beautiful. I just wanted to point that out in case there are people that um, haven't seen it. So we'll post a link um, wherever this video is shared. We'll give a link to some samples so you can cool. put it on your own phone and see how awesome they look. Yeah, it downloads like really quick. Cool. So um, fine, last point I'm making longer here is if you still do online proofing, you can just you can sh link out to it and this can still help you sell prints if that's what you really want to do. Mm -hmm. I would recommend not doing that until after you've sold product, but that's another video also. You can embed a uh, slideshow. Now, instead of having the your big logo at the top like mm -hmm. the old school one now we end with it right like you can you can, custom, you can customize this with a testimonial mm -hmm. links to your social these really awesome calls to action um, and now you can you can make one of these buttons link out to mm -hmm. a booking to a booking page like, you you want um and this one this could be turned into that too like hey uh want to learn more uh, give us a call or click here to schedule a free 15 minute 
phone consult. Consult, yeah, that's the word I was trying to think of. Call makes it seem like it might call right then, so I think consult would be really good too. Like book now, book book phone consult mm -hmm. now, or book free consult. Yep. And for those, I know people are going to ask me, so I'm just going to share it. <laughs> for those of you wondering now, because I said I, I do digitals, we just do packages. They can buy mm -hmm. five, ten, or twenty, and then whatever they get, like an album, they get those same images digitally, and we um, give them a sticky album too. So, kick ass. Okay, that is what you can create with the new builder. That looks really pretty. So it's not only did this, what you can create look is totally brand new. Um, we like, let's make it easier to build. So here we are in the new sticky folios builder. Mm. I'm so, oh, I get so excited. This is a brand new um, interface that they're just it's working like with. It's beautiful. Tell, um, your, tell your designer like high fives. Oh dude, he's just, I get so excited. He's like this is the up. back end and it's this beautiful? Yeah, this, this is what it's like to build. So let me <laughs> close this away for a second. Uh, it's gotta wake up. This is my staging server, so it's a little bit slower, but I wanna show you, I should have, refresh it one more oh, there we no go. worries the other day i was showing everyone the new boudoir marketing camp and none of the vimeo videos were loading they're like vimeo is gone right now i'm like really <laughs> try to do some stuff <laughs> uh, i'll bet you deleted my trial account fantastic okay all right so this is the builder and we can close away all of the extra complicated features <laughs> um, they're not that complicated. Uh, but here's my favorite thing to show off is, this is how you edit the copy, is just type. I can type and talk uh, and type, whatever you want. <laughs> type, and type. type and type. <laughs> uh, and it, that's like, you're editing just as you go. That's super um, easy. I wanna do, I had some images already uploaded, but that grab this logo I did. So now you, there's spots for two different logos. I made this little logo mark with a transparent oh, PNG cool. on your website. Check out how cool this looks. Right yeah. there, so it's right there on top. Um, we're gonna wanna change your, the name to Molly Marie. Sorry, Josh. <laughs> Peace out, Josh. <laughs> um, let me just quick do a background image. So for the top here, you wanna use like a, a nice wide hero landscape. I think this one is perfect. Oops, that's too big. I made a smaller one in here. There we go. So I resized the images beforehand to be about 2048 longest edge. Okay. So it's gonna be on, a, on the site. So now you guys get the idea. Look Ooh, at all You're what? You're like, okay, that so. That looks better than my website. <laughs> that's <laughs> awesome. Um, so now, our last thing to show that we give you these awesome templates that you can start with, and it's so much easier to be an editor than an author, right? There's no reason to start from, from scratch. So, sorry if I got lost along the way, but this is still, okay, so we, you showed me the new sticky album, and, and then this is not the new, right? This is completely different. This is the folios? So this is, um, I, I'm glad you're clarifying because it's darn confusing. So. I, this here I showed you is like, it's, the, it's called a client folio, mm -hmm. but it's intended to be used the same way. It re this replaces sticky mm -hmm. albums. Okay, cool. We built sticky albums from the ground up and we're like, this is so much better. It needs a new name. Uh, oh, no, okay, that makes a lot more sense. I thought it was like a sister. So, okay, so you're just trying to kind of, because then it is more broad, like it's, you're not just, just sticky Apps. albums and I'm going to show you a bunch of other stuff too in a second there's just too much right so we we created all of this other features and we're like this can't be called sticky albums anymore mm -hmm. it's got to be sticky folios cool. so, because we do a bunch of other marketing templates now too um, so last thing to show you in the building process is you can just come in here and hide things mm, like Photoshop that's awesome right? Man, you guys really thought about that so then let's say there's um, the video, like you don't have a video yet, or video slideshow, instead of hiding all of these things, you can just come down to the video section and turn off that group of layers. That's yeah. awesome. So now that's hidden. And if you decide to do a, a slideshow later, you can just come and turn it back on. So if you have this, you know, you can put this app on your phone so they could potentially scroll through photos and then also watch a video? Exactly. Okay, this is like, 
really good. Yeah. <laughs> Because okay. I'm I'm all about promo videos, like for sure. Totally, and yeah, that's a, that's a really good idea. Is it doesn't have to be. Let's turn it back on. It doesn't I would do like an FAQ video, video right? Self talking it, or something. Let this be your video. Put yeah. your video there on every single one you give away of the of these client folios, yeah. right? Okay, so that is the builder. Um, again, you can come in and add your own branding. Super that's simple. You really can publish cool. and you get a link. Um, all of our custom link functionality got way better. Can you push the cell phone button down below so we can see what it looks like on the cell phone? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good call. Thank you. That's really cool. Ooh. Yeah. So it, this look, the whole idea is whenever anybody's done like WordPress editing, whenever you're editing on a website, oftentimes you're guessing as to what it's going to look like. You've got to mm -hmm. hit publish. You got to get the link and you got to go look and open it up on your, on another tab. And you're like, okay, what does this font look like? Right. <laughs> we wanted to get rid of that. And now you're, whatever you see, you just get to edit. Right. And you right. Get to what it's going to look like as you're building on. I love that you can preview the mobile and the desktop because, um, I mean, I know industry standard now, like 60% are on mobile, but for my website, it's more like 80%. So mm -hmm. I just think that's really important to know. Yeah, totally. And we, we, everything is, we've gone to great lengths to make sure that it looks awesome on all devices. And easy to use for sure. Okay. So that's fun. Um, last thing that'll help solidify the, um, we want to do make a new folio. Mm -hmm. So remember sticky albums was what I call like a one trick pony. Like it let you create these. That's mm -hmm. it. That's all you could build. Right. Um, so we decided step one and I, in hindsight, maybe I should have like launched one of these features like a month instead of all of them <laughs> at once. But I kind of like all at once, but that's how I like to just dive in. <laughs> yeah. We just ripped the bandaid off. So, um, in step one, we made a better sticky album and that's called a client folio. That's mm -hmm. this template. Um, but then we kind of got nuts <laughs> and now you can build a wedding website. I love it. We kind of, we kind of went nuts. <laughs> we didn't sleep for uh, three months. Um. <laughs> yep. Uh, and so, and you can create a mini session promotional uh, website with everything you need. A landing page if you want to run like a Facebook ad campaign. Okay. Can we see the landing page? Because I talk about landing pages all the time. Holla. They cool. don't need to go buy any expensive landing page tool anymore. They can Exactly. Use this is all included, unlimited pages. Very cool. And so for those of you that don't know what a landing page is, this would be great for if you want to have like a freebie like we talked about earlier. Yep. You could put this and then just link to the landing page and it would, you know, like even though the yes. freebie is free, you would still try to sell the freebie if that makes sense. <laughs> totally. Yep. Very and cool. You, there's an, this is in preview mode. Would this work for like... Well, I guess boudoir wouldn't really matter, but with weddings, you could make your clients their own website. Like, uh, uh, oh, yes, wedding website. There it is. <laughs> yes, yes. So, the, absolutely, for wedding clients, instead of this, the wedding website replaces the sticky album or the client folio mm -hmm. uh, for wedding customers. Very cool. Uh, because for in the past, you used to have to wait until after the wedding to give them their images and to get all of this awesome exposure. Mm -hmm. Now. You can start getting exposure as soon as you finish the engagement session. Yeah. Uh, you put, you just keep distracting me. I'm like trying to show one thing. We go to the next. There's so much. So you can put uh, a bunch of, instead of one gallery, you can put a bunch of galleries. Oh, cool. Uh, you can put information about their wedding, links to the reception, the ceremony, directions, lodging, and links to their registry. My mind is just like spinning with marketing ideas. I think you and I need to do a webinar where I can just like go through all of it. Yeah. So, yeah. This is um, so let me wrap up with, um, I'll just, I'll just say that when, when you use the landing page, you can have an email opt in. Mm -hmm. You can turn off, there was a lot in here. You can turn off everything you don't need and then have a very clear singular call to action. Like here's my guide. So you would just take the code from like MailChimp or whatever and put it in there? Exactly. Very cool. Okay. Yeah, totally. Um, finally, uh, for a portfolio, this is a, a meant to be like a single brand one page website. Um, so for many of you that don't, that are worried about SEO, I've got news for you. The most important SEO thing you need to do for your business is make your website mobile friendly. Mm. So you mentioned over 80% of your traffic is coming on mobile. Mm. 
When, that means if people search Birdwai in your city and they're on a mobile device when they do the search, mm -hmm. if your site isn't mobile friendly, your site will not come up in the search results. Mm, mine's mobile friendly, y'all. Of course it is. <laughs> What's up? Um, so every, it's one of those things like, yeah, That's I know cool. I need to do it, but I, it's costing me a bunch of money, a bunch of time. Just or even if it does show up, they're not going to be able to do anything. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> this is meant to, I'm not trying to compete with Squarespace and these really robust yeah. website tools. You really don't need that. What you need is something that's live today that's mobile friendly. So um, can this integrate with a website or is it more like a link to it kind of a thing? Or It could, it could just replace your website. If you don't, oh. a if you don't have a mobile friendly website today, mm -hmm. just create this. You can work on something more robust if you want to hire a custom designer and do something. That's going to take you months if you really think you want to do that. Fine, but get a mobile friendly site live today. Cool. So two and, questions for you. Yeah. You can buy a Go URL ahead. through like GoDaddy and use that for this. Yes. Exactly. Okay. And then yeah. I, okay. You got Very it. cool. So to your to that point, a lot of your audience. Um, does other types types of photography and they're like, ah, I really want to do more bird wall, but I'm afraid to blah. Yeah, just like, build this page. Now you can separate. I think cool. that marketing best practice always says you should have different sites for different brands, mm -hmm. especially if you're doing something like seniors in bird or babies in bird like those brands don't look great on the same site right you can separate them out and it used to be cost you all of this extra money, mm -hmm. extra, double your triple your hosting. Now, this is all included. You get this all is okay. My mind is like blowing up right now because there's so many people in January and February. That's when newbie boudoir like literally blows up. Yeah, people. That's the question I get. Should I have a site? And I always say, you know, if you think your clients would be turned off by that, do it. But it's double the work, so it's sort of like a double-edged sword. So this is like the solution that I wish I had known about last year. Very cool. There you go. Okay. <laughs> So I'll stop sharing. I've got the link here. I'll, we can post it wherever this is. Video is at stickyfolios.com slash $1. Uh, your, it makes your first month, which would normally be 39 bucks, mm -hmm. uh, makes it one buck. And then it re your, your membership renews at $39 a month. So We've you get some, all this stuff for $39? 39, yeah. What? what did you, how much did you say that your booking tool costs? My booking tool? So yeah, I pay $300 a month. <laughs> But it's not just booking tool, but you, no one needs something that big, you know, right. unless yeah. you're running a huge, three huge companies. So this is perfect. $39. So, okay. Yeah. So what, what, like here, but you and I know both worlds, right? So I'll, I, without going too specific, like my goal, Molly, was I saw what online marketers are doing. Mm -hmm. There's all of these awesome tactics that are really, that seem really complicated at first. But once you get started, they're really helpful, mm -hmm. extremely valuable, which is why all of those companies <clears throat> can charge as much as they are. You're happily paying $300 a month for that tool because you get more than $300 worth of value every month, mm -hmm. right? <clears throat> With a photographer's business who's just getting started, it's hard for them to get that kind of value. And I wanted to take all of these different tactics that are currently reserved for larger businesses right. and simplify them and make them accessible to photographers. Yeah. Now it's like you can actually, cause I waited so long to even be able to share about email marketing because it was never affordable. And so it's right. like now I'm, I'm, I'm mad that this didn't exist like six years ago. Like that's yeah. Now it is. <laughs> right. We covered everything. Uh, Awesome. Oh, so um, can you tell the one dollar deal? So it's one dollar for their first first month. Yeah, stickyfolios.com slash one dollar. And they could cancel any time, like it's like a trial. Or of course, yep, yeah, yep. You can, and that includes uh, unlimited sticky folios. You could use all of those templates. Um, so if we like list all of the tools mm -hmm. that I wanted to, it's like a, a landing page builder, a, a simple website, mobile friendly website builder. Uh, an apps builder, a wedding website builder. Oh, and a booking and scheduling tool. All of that is included for 39 bucks a month. So uh, it's kind of, you, it's overwhelming to talk about. You can see how we got pulled in all different directions. I get excited. Yeah. For those of you that are, gonna, that are jumping on, just start simple. Mm -hmm. Create one. That first thing I showed was a client folio. Create, pick one client and make one app for them 
it this week and share it and start there. And know think- as you get as you get better, as you grow, as you have time to learn all of the different tactics we've got, you can continue to get more and more value from our platform. That's perfect. Like if you don't have a boudoir website or portfolio, get that page up make sticky albums for your client well sticky portfolios i need to learn that now um and then (laughs) yeah and then just do one at a time yeah that's cool but then for the people that are already doing weddings and boudoir things like that there's already the wedding stuff too so wow well seriously nate i know this sounds cheesy but like thanks for bringing so much value to the photo industry because this would cost so much like i said three hundred dollars and like if you're if you're only a startup photography business there's no way you can afford to pay that Right. That's like the cost of a studio in the Midwest. Like that's insane. Exactly. So now, <laughs> so now, yeah, ours, if you want to do the annual, it's, it's a three ninety nine a year mm-hmm. or it's 39 bucks a month and you can get your first month free with that $1 offer. So this is a blast. We've got so much more we could share. Uh, but this is, let's keep it simple. Like we always say, start simple. And then uh, we'll do a follow up uh, webinar sometime about the other, other tactics that we can do. And I'm sure once you get your hands on it, you're going to just blow the lid off. My mind is like blowing up right now. So, (laughs) well, thank you so much for always like, you know, I love when you come and share this kind of stuff with my audience because I I like to be, you know, at least one of the first ones to be able to tell them about this new cool stuff. So I really appreciate it. Thank you. You rock. Uh, Thanks for the opportunity. Have a good one. Yeah, you too. Bye.